guys it is your girl you need the iconic we are back with another video yes ma'am we are make sure you like you comment you subscribe and show your girl some love please and thank you thank you but yes you guys yes if you click on this video then you already know what it's about I'm spilling all the tea, all the dirt about what it is to work at Ulta Beauty. Now, before I even get into this video, and anyone try to come for me, I am not trying to bash Ulta Beauty and say it is a garbage company or anything. You should never, never work there. This is only based solely off of my experience and how it was working with the people that I did and the time frame that I did working with the company. Now... I start I stopped working for the company back in last year of like around March like March April I would say that's around the time I stopped working for them so I'm not sure if a lot of things have changed since then so please don't come at me attacking me on anything with that but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this video now y'all I had to write these notes down baby I had to make sure I wrote down everything so I can stay on track and that I can just give y'all all the tea because, honey, I can get off track real quick. Real quick. So let's go ahead and get to the first thing. For those who don't know, I worked in an Ulta Beauty location in Atlanta. Um, and one thing I will say is that the people that I worked with, um, the managers and the employees, they were amazing. They were amazing people. I'm not bashing them. I, I, they're amazing people. I still do talk to them, to some of them to this day. So... The first thing that I wrote down about them is the is the um, the pay rate in the hours. Now, I'm not sure what Ulta's base pay is around the whole entire nation, but your base pay when you come in as just in a, as a regular beauty advisor in Atlanta, I do believe it started off around like eight dollars and twenty five cents. I cannot remember. I don't know if they changed it, but. Your base pay will solely depend on your location and what that location can afford. Since I was in Atlanta, you know, of course you will be able to get paid more. But um, the base pay in the hours. So you would think to yourself like, okay, you're getting paid $8, which really y'all is not a lot. It's not a lot. It's not, trust me. Um, the hours, you could only work if I believe was about I know for a fact it was at least four you can only work about four and a half hours yeah like four and a half hours a day as a part-time employee for Ulta that was as a beauty advisor now you think to yourself you're like four and a half hours like that's not bad yeah it's not that bad until you start seeing that paycheck okay sweetheart okay let me just let y'all know and not only that I think it was if I'm not mistaken, there was only a certain amount of days out of the week that you could work as a part-time beauty advisor because that's what I came as came in as, as a part-time beauty advisor. The next thing I wanted to say was the lack of proper training. <sighs> Let me close the book real quick. <clears throat> when I tell y'all, <laughs> as soon as I got in Ulta, I got that job, the next day, the day of the, stop girl, what are you doing? What you doing? Relax, my dog. So as soon as I got in Ulta, I walked in the door for my first day of work. It was like, okay, let's have a little huddle. All right, this is what you need to do, you need to do, you need to do, and boom, all right, that's it, that's the end of the huddle. And I'm like, okay, I'm brand new. What am I supposed to be doing, you know? I'm like, uh, so what am I supposed to do? So I asked the manager who was on duty at the time, he's like, oh, you can just stop. So he didn't know that I was new. Like the following two days after when I got when he was on duty again as a manager, he was like, why you didn't tell me you was new? I'm like, I gotta tell you that? I thought they would have told you that, you know? Like that's not my job. But yeah, the lack of training y'all, um, it's sort of for me, like I said, this is based solely off of my experience at my location. The, the lack of proper training, you just are forced to jump right in and just learn as you go. It, it's not even a, oh, I want to show you this and that. And like I said, you guys, this is off my location. I don't know if other places are like that. And yeah, th like it was just like, come on, bro. Like you didn't even know I was at least a new employee. Like I understand you like just go stock, but it's like, yo, like you didn't know I was a new employee. Like, damn, like, is that bad? That should have been, that was the first red flag, honestly. I don't know what made me even stay so long, but 
Yeah, honey. Anyways, on to the next one. The discount and coupons. <sighs> Close the book again. So, like I said, don't quote me on this. When I was working there, the discount, I believe, was about 20% off or 25% employee discount. You only got 20% off for everything in the store. And honestly, I don't think that that's a fair discount. 20%, you were literally, if you were to really add it up, you guys, working there, that discount is literally the same type of discount customers get. Not only that, we weren't allowed to use coupons. You either had to use your discount or you had to use the coupons, which I really don't think is fair. I do think you should be able to use coupons. Like I just really do think that if anything, if you're gonna give us a 20% 20, uh, 20 discount, then you should at least allow us to use the coupons as well, or you should raise the discount to at least 30% off. At least 30. All right, on to the next one. Oh, the lack of organization. Who child, when it came to Ulta, it was just, oh, baby, it was just ghetto. It was all over the place, honey, all over the place. Like the schedules, you guys, I, I kid you not, my schedule, I would not know what my schedule is to literally the week coming up. Like the schedule start on Sunday, right? I went on my I went on my schedule literally on that Sunday. Like I could have been scheduled to come in in the morning. I wouldn't even know until like probably twelve o'clock at night, twelve a.m. That's on a Sunday. Like the schedule is supposed to be made two weeks in advance, or I think at the at the at the minimum two weeks in advance, so that you can know. And that used to interfere a lot. Oh, oh, baby, it's about to pour down. But. That used to interfere a lot when it came down to like, when I, of course, like I said, I do makeup. So that used to interfere a lot when it came to my personal life and everything. You know, I know a lot of you probably thinking like, well, you only worked four hours, sweetheart. <laughs> it would be times where you would work your four hours. And if someone does not come in, or they're late, you have to stay until they got there. It wasn't like a, oh, okay, goodbye. No, you literally had to stay. So when I say lack of organization, I mean, it was ridiculous. Like if you're the person, if you're scheduled to leave at three o'clock and that person is still not there, you have to stay there. If that person does not get there till six o'clock, you have to stay there. Not saying that you have to, but that's what they would make you do. They're like, well, you can't leave. We don't have anyone to run X, Y, and Z. But then it will be some situation where you're like, I just can't stay there. Like, I really can't, like, I got something I gotta do. And it, it just was, it was just bad. And then, um, okay, so I said the schedule was now positions. The positions, you guys. The positions were all over the place. Literally, you could be labeled as a beauty advisor and you would literally be doing everything in the store, stocking, you're doing this over there, you're running a cashier, you're doing X, Y, and Z, when in reality, your position is made for you to work on that particular thing. For example, if you were a prestige beauty advisor, you would work on the prestige products like Urban Decay, NARS, Too Faced, um, Smashbox, you are responsible for assisting customers who need help within that prestige area. You are responsible for stocking the prestige stuff. And it was just a mess. Like, you would be called that, but you would still be doing everything else that is out of your scope. Um, so yeah, and then not only that, when it would come down to your position, you would be doing everything else, but then, for example, you could get in trouble and be like, why are you doing that when you need to be doing what your, your job is supposed to be doing? But then you're like, well, you just told me I needed to go work on X, Y, and Z. Like, it's just too much. Um, I would say the next thing, this is more so kind of like a corporate thing for me, is just the lack of employee support. Um, Ulta, like I said, you guys, this is from my experience and I have not worked there since last year. The lack of, ex the lack of um, employee support is, is, is really sad. Like, I can understand, you know, that you're a company and, and you know, things are set, set a certain way, 
for certain reasons, but they put, Ulta puts their customers over their employees. And I'm pretty sure there are many employees that can agree with me on this. They really do put their employee, their customers over their employees. They, the Ulta just didn't care. They keep saying like, oh, we want to increase our employee this and that. They kept saying that, but no, they will literally give employees this one survey to take each year, just that one survey talking about what are some things you would want to see, da 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 da. And multiple times, employees kept saying the discount, the damn discount, the discount. They ignored that. They didn't care. I don't know if they changed it now, but it's just, it's no employee support. And when I say employee support, I'm talking about benefits for part time. Um, um, as far as it goes, when, when, what is that I put down? like programs, school, um, just stuff like that. Like that's really important. Like a lot of college kids and young kids like my age and younger, or a little older work at Ulta, you know, simply for the fact of the fact that it's school or for example, they're in cosmetology school or esthetician school. And you know, they think like, okay, if I go work here, I'm able to get all this experience working in that type of environment. But you know, they really don't, do anything and then the only way you'll be able to get any type of or the basic benefits such as like um you know health insurance and stuff like that is if you're full time i just think that they could do a lot more with their employees and having their employees backs you guys i cannot stress enough on how many complaints customers complain to ulta about like when they would complain they would get like a 20 percent off coupon or they get like some some little coupon ulta would just give them a free gift and everything and then they take their complaints very seriously i will say ulta does do that they will sit there they'll contact the regional manager the regional manager will contact the store the person and the, the manager at the store has to go and tell the employee what happened x y and z but the manager could understand like i know you didn't mean it in that way da, 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 da. i know they're like your manager would have your back but the ulta would not you know ulta would not at all like they're like the employee's right the employee's right it is never about the customer about them i'm sorry not the employee's always right the customer is always right it is never a point in time where they actually take up for their employees and sit there and say like you know what this we understand, you know, customer we understand, but still they don't ever just want to take their employees back, especially when it's a situation that's really out of an employee's hand or the employee actually absolutely did nothing. Like there was this one time where we had a, um, we had a cross dresser who worked at our store, you know, he would wear girl clothes and everything, you know, and I'm in Atlanta. It's normal. We see that all the time. We, it's no, it's nothing wrong with that. But I'll never forget when it was one lady who made a complaint because she felt uncomfortable about him working in our store and he did nothing to her. He was very sweet. He was such a sweet person, such a sweet person. He was, he absolutely did nothing to her and she complained about it and they gave her little coupon and they sat there and they told the store like oh she's saying that oh he was very disrespectful he was very rude you need to work on that like he almost lost his job for that you guys and it was sad because Ulta was not trying to take his side or have his back and sit there and say that you know like we are anti-discriminatory like if you don't want, like Elsa was afraid to sit there and say, well, ma'am, if you feel uncomfortable, you don't have to shop here. It took one of my managers to sit there and give lady a call and say, well, ma'am, we understand your complaint, but you know, if you don't feel comfortable, there are other Ulta's around that you'd be uh, uh, great to shop at. Our manager had to do that. Not Ulta, our manager literally had to be the one to sit there and defend their back. And they don't do that. They don't. Um, Ulta's always, pressing their employees with credit cards oh my god who oh, child man they cared about credit cards more than they cared about freaking actual profit like they wanted credit cards like credit card credit card credit card credit card credit card i'm talking about they would used to stress about those credit cards so much that our manager used to str be stressed out about at us about getting these credit cards we're like yo like at least we want a credit card they'll get a credit card like we can't keep or something to get a, cre a damn credit card like come on now i go to ulta now and i'll be like no i don't want a damn credit card no 
certain stores within the district if they reach like a certain goal or something you're hitting your goals and stuff like that throughout the year then you know your store would uh get the managers would get like a bonus and stuff like the store manager would get like a bonus and then like they would throw the whole store a pizza party who the fuck wants a damn pizza party I feel like personally, if a store is doing really good with their sales, their credit cards, and all so on, then they need more than a damn pizza party. If you're giving the manager a bonus, you need to give everyone a bonus who works there because it's not just the manager who sits there and makes sure the store reaches the goal. Everyone does in that store. It is not just about them. You know, it's crazy. They don't, I feel like the managers don't even get enough appreciation too. Like it, it's ridiculous. It's, it's sad. And I'm like, oh, just go. But, um, Honestly, you guys, if I were to sit here and be asked that serious question of whether or not I recommend someone should work at Ulta or not, my answer would be no. No. Because that are geared towards their employees. I feel that in order for a company to truly thrive and, and grow even better is that you have to really care for your employees because if you care for your employees, your employees will perform better. They will provide better customer service. They'll want to stay. They want to grow within the company. And you know, Ulta's biggest thing is like, oh, we want you to grow with the company. Well, you can't grow with the damn company that doesn't care about you. You can't do that. But um, other than that, you guys, that's kind of really it. That's kind of all the things that I had to say. I would not recommend working at Ulta, especially if you're a college student. There are multiple other jobs that offer um, great programs for college students. Um, and yeah, I just think that it is, it's, I would not want someone to work somewhere where they're not appreciated. But um, my book is closed and I am going to go ahead and close out this video with my outro. But before we do that, did you like, did you tickle that subscribe button? <laughs> did you pound that damn subscribe button? You, oh, you need to do it now. Do it now. And comment and, and just show your guys some love. Share my videos. We post them. Okay? Okay. Anyways, you guys, thank y'all for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, and go ahead and get to the outro.